needed it most. And then our special teams came through uh, as well. And so great complimentary win where I thought all three phases contributed to the win. Um, we had some uh, great contributions from individual. Uh, Jake Funk did a great job in the run game, a guy that's been around here and been through a lot. Uh, obviously, three, uh, Leah bounced back from uh, last week's game and why we picked him to be our starter by playing at a really high level and, you know, was really happy with the way our uh, kicker, Joe Petrino, came through with the big long kick there at the end. So um, great team win, team victory. We'll enjoy it for the next 48 hours and then uh, we'll get back uh, in here and get to work on in, in preparation for our next game. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Thanks, Coach. We'll start with Lila for our first question. Lila? All right. Sorry, my uh, sound isn't working, so I'm hoping you can hear me. We could hear you. Okay. Um, so I guess just in terms of the defense being able to um, turn around their performance after um, you know, struggling for, for most of a game, what stood out to you most um, about what they were able to do, especially in that fourth quarter? Well, I think it's the energy level that they play with. You know, I thought early in the game, uh, we got caught to where I didn't feel like we played with the intensity or the energy level that was going to be necessary. We knew that this was going to be a fist fight for us, for us. Minnesota doesn't try to hide what they do. They want to run the football. And uh, they were able to do that earlier in the game. And, you know, it was really frustrating for us because on the offensive side of the ball, I thought we were playing really well. And if we could get the ball back, uh, you know, we'd be able to continue to move the ball because of how we played. But as I said before, you know, our defense kept banging away. They kept fighting. They kept playing hard, rotated a bunch of guys in there. We got some stops when we needed them most there late in the game. And I thought the energy level changed, you know, as they continued to have a little success late in the game with getting off the field. I, I saw the momentum and the energy pick up on that side of the ball. And I think it was more effort and energy than it was anything different because we outnumbered the box all game long uh, from early in the first quarter to the end. And, uh, we just got off blocks and made plays. And specifically with that, um, Chance Chance had, you know, some really big stops um, on situations to make Minnesota punt the ball. Just how crucial has he been for the team this season, both in this game and uh, last game as well? Yeah, you know, Chance is a guy that's played a lot of football um, during his time here. And he's a guy that's really grown into uh, the le a leadership role for our team, not just on defense. Um, one of our hardest workers, a guy that puts the inner, puts the time into uh, understanding what we want to do, and he's, he's playing at a high level and, and bringing people along with him. So it's great to see that type of contribution from Chance and consistent. I mean, last week uh, was one of the few bright spots we had on defense, and then this week following it up, uh, making plays, especially when we needed them most late in the game. Thank you. We'll go to Emily next. Hi, Mike. Um how would you describe Talia's performance specifically with kind of how he was able to navigate um, being down and then also just evading pressure and making decisions in those in those moments throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, for, for us and those that have been in this building and have seen the way he's practiced the last since he's been here, uh, not surprised at what we saw on film. I think last week was more of a surprise for us than, than what we saw this week because these are the same type of plays and throws and, and, and the energy that he has brought to the table, which is why he earned the position. Um, so it was great to see him bounce back. Um, you know, like I say, I don't think he did anything differently in his preparation because he's a guy that's always around the building. He's a guy that's always putting the extra time in. But I, I think what you guys saw is what we saw um, out of him all camp long. And, you know, it's great for him to be able to bounce back and, and do that here at home. 
uh, in the shell and play at a really high level when we needed them to do it most. Consulting engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. We'll go to Andy Koska. Hey, Coach, hope you can hear me all right. How big was Jake Funk tonight? And just giving Tayulia kind of another option of he can run the ball and they don't have to pass as, you know, as much, a little less pressure maybe. Yeah, you know, Jake Jake is a guy that, as I said, I mean, he's been around here a long time and it's great to be able to get this type of contribution for, from him. You know, as I've said before, I've always been a big, big Jake Funk fan. I mean, here's a guy that all-time leading rusher in the state of Maryland, a local guy right here from the crib and, and uh, he's healthy, um, his leadership, he brings it every day in practice. And, and it's great to have that uh, ability to have a guy like him here uh, with a young team. He's one of the few uh, older guys that we have in our program. And he's doing a tremendous job with leadership. Uh, it was great to see the type of contribution he made today in the running game. Uh, he did the same thing for us last week when he had the opportunities. He made plays for us. Uh, early in the game, and, and obviously it was a good bounce back game for us on the offensive side of the ball uh, to be able to score points and execute our offense and do it with balance. I mean, I think we threw for three and, and we ran for over two something. So, you know, balance is what we want to be. And it doesn't mean 50% uh, run, 50% pass. It means being able to efficiently do both. Uh, and, and today we were able to do that on offense. Just to follow up, it seemed like his pass blocking also in a couple of situations came up really big. I mean, just how pivotal was that, that he could pick up a, pick up a free blitzer? Yeah, I mean, he's a three down back for us. He's a guy that uh, you want in the game on third down from protection standpoint. He's a guy that catches the ball well out of the backfield. And then obviously in the running game, we saw him in, in the open field and, and get some tough yardage when we needed it most. So. Uh, again, you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, can play on all three downs for us. We don't have to substitute him. He's smart, tough, and reliable. And, you know, it's great to see him finally uh, be able to make the type of contribution he made today. Uh, he's been around here a long time, and I know he's waited his turn, and he's healthy. So I was happy for Jake. Go to Ed Lee. Mike, as thrilling as this win was, how concerned are you about the number of penalties and turnovers? Uh, very concerning, you know, for us, you know, the first statements I made uh, as we started our preparation for the season was our season would be contingent upon discipline by our team and not just uh, on the field, but also with COVID and the protocols off the field. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an Achilles heel. You're not going to win a lot of games when you have the type of penalties and the turnovers that we have. And, you know, we, we got to continue to work through these things. We got to continue to coach these young players understand the importance of uh, protecting the football on offense and then you know the penalties which to me I, I don't have a, a much problem with the penalties that you're making in the, uh, in the during the course of a play but the bonehead you know unsportsman likes and, and talking to the other team and late hits and those type of things won't be tolerated and we got to get it cleaned up and it starts with me making sure that we're uh, enforcing that we play good smart clean football. We'll go to Alif Kareem next. Hey, Coach. Hope you can hear me. I can hear you, Alif. Coach, how great is this win in terms of the confidence boost it gives to your younger guys, and especially picking this up at home, knowing you have an equally tougher opponent next week? Yeah, it feels good to get a win because, one, these players, I mean, they have been through so much, you know, since March 12th. When you just think back when we left here, right before spring break and, and just our world's changed. And with all the things and adversity that, that, that this team has faced and, and, and our community has faced, uh, it's great and rewarding to have them be able to feel what success is like. And, you know, we talked about us being really close uh, to, to where we want to be. And I think the difference of where we are and where we wanted to be was somewhere in the middle was, to, was having action, doing the work necessary, Somebody had to step up, make a play to kind of ignite us. And, and we had a bunch of people really step up tonight. And, and again, in all three phases, especially when we needed it most. So great team win, um, proud of this team. 
is a character win for us, and it's one hopefully we can use to build upon. Let's go to Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Coach, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jacob, just barely. Uh, so you talked about earlier just what a big win in this was for the team, but with all the momentum swings throughout and the different fluctuations of emotion, what did you learn most about your team tonight? Well, I think the biggest thing I learned is, you know, like a parent, you can preach till you're blowing your face to your kids and you never know if they're hearing you or listening to you. And one of the things we've talked about from the day I got hired here, we, we weren't going to be a scoreboard watching team. We're not going to be a front running team. We're going to play to a standard and that standard is to give great effort on every play. And, and then when that play is over, erase it and play the next play. That's the way we live day to day day and that's how we dealt with COVID and I think you saw uh, saw that today out of this team and that not one time did they flinch when we were down 17 in the fourth quarter not one time did we get overly hyped when we were up 21 to 7 in the first quarter we just kept playing and you know we preached that to our team that we're not going to be a team that watches the scoreboard we're going to play to a standard. We're going to play with the effort and the habits and behaviors necessary to win. And if you do those things, the winning takes care of itself. So what I learned most is that they, they're they listening because I didn't see us flinch when we were down. I didn't see us get overly, uh, you know, giddy and excited when we were up. And that's the type of team we're going to have to be. Just a quick follow-up. How satisfying is that for you and your staff? How satisfying is that for you and your staff to know that everything that you've been preaching this offseason has came to fruition tonight in a win? I mean, like I said, I mean, as a parent, when your kids regurgitate the things that you've said to them when raising them and uh, to see the, our guys fight and to see them, again, like I said, never flinch during the course of this game, uh, some critical stops at critical times, uh, fought through adversity with penalties. And again, a lot of things we got to get cleaned up. And, and, and I can't wait to get in, enjoy tonight and get in and start getting this stuff corrected. Like I said, we got a young team, uh, 21st year players played last week. I'm sure we played quite a few of those guys today in critical situations. And so with every game, and with every rep, uh, we're building the toolbox of experience that we're going to hopefully be able to lean on as we continue to play in a really tough Big Ten schedule that's coming up.